Welcome to Genuine Coral guys. This is the seventh video in the J Phoenix tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to use a hamburger in your JavaFX application. You might have seen this kind of icon in your Android application and using JFX hamburger you can implement it in your JavaFX application. So we all know the use of such an icon to open a drawer or navigation panel and in JavaFX there are basically four types of animation. This is what happens when I click on this one. It's a sleek animation that can be used to open some kind of drawer which we code as per we code. And let's take a quick look into the hamburger. It can be added into your program by using JFX hamburger from your library and I have done so and uh, when we talking uh, when we consider the transition there are basically four transition that is hamburger slide close transition this is what we have seen right now and there are three other transition a JFX hamburger without any animation is just like a label with an image it doesn't do anything let's see the bare hamburger first so I have done nothing I just dragged and drag used the uh, a hamburger and imported as an fxml variable and if I run the program a an instance of the application is already running and okay as you can see when I click on it nothing is happening so what I want to do is I want to make some transition some sleek transition and do something else like opening a drawer etc so let's see the first transition the hamburger slide transition. that's what we have seen before and let's call it what we have to do is we just have to create an object of the transition hamburger slide transition by using that class you can use the hamburger object as parameter so that the transition will be associated with uh, this variable and one more thing you have to understand is there are two transition I mean there are two state for the hamburger transition if you set the state uh, you, you can set the state as normal by setting the rate as minus one and you can set the state as activated by setting the rate as one so initially I am setting the transition state as minus one so it will be in the default normal position and one more thing I have to do is I want to implement a mouse handler which can be done by add event handler mouse event from the JavaFX library by mouse clicked and let me use the lambda expression so this is it and all that I have to set is I want to toggle between minus 1 and 1 when I click on it and this can be done using multiplying the current state by minus 1 like this so if it is in f 1 is if the state of 1 then multiplying by minus 1 will make it as minus 1 or if it is in minus 1 then multiplying by minus 1 will make it as a plus one so that's it the last thing we have to add is a transition dot play it's a basically a JavaFX transition so we have to call the play to initiate the transition now let us run the program the instance is already running that's it now see it's working so that's it that's the first animation there are three more animations associated with the JFX hamburger and let us see how it looks like so I want to add three more JFX hamburgers I'm just making a duplicate I need two more duplicates so got it and placing it here and I want to name it this is not ham 11 it is ham 2 
and this is my third hamburger and this is my fourth hamburger for each of these hamburger i am going to associate a unique transition and i want to generate a control skeleton that's it i don't want the parenthesis okay that's it we go the four hamburger objects and next transition we need is hamburger basic close transition i'm uh, uh, naming it as transition 1 is equal to new hamburger basic close transition passing the first second hamburger and we can use the same code for the second hamburger too I'm setting the rate as minus one for the transition one and transition one dot get rate transition one dot set rate transition one dot play now let us run there is an issue let's see what it is transition one dot set rate hamburger two transition one transition one dot set rate i am associated the transition with the ham one sorry for that now it should work that's it so it's another animation for the hamburger and let's do two more there is another transition called hamburger back arrow transition transition two is equal to new hamburger back arrow transition with the ham 3 using the same code the transition object should be transition 2 hamburger 3 and transition 2 transition 2 transition 2 dot get rate and there is one more transition which is hamburger next arrow basic transition which can be associated with the fourth hamburger so I'm creating hamburger next arrow transition with the uh, ham 4 reusing the same code so it is transition 3 dot set rate hamburger 4 dot add event handler and transition 3 dot set rate transition 3 dot get rate transition 3 dot play so now let's see how the output looks like so this is the first hamburger second hamburger third transition and fourth transition so that's how the JFX hamburger can be used in your program <laughs> and if you want to open a drawer or do something else you can s do the coding right here uh, this is the place suppose I want to print something on the dash or the console hi that's it you can do that and one more important thing I have to tell you is you can customize this hamburgers by using CSS styling which is supported in the Java FX and let's see how we can do that I have a CSS file style.css and let us see how we can do this I have dot jfx hamburger dot stack pane you have to use this class in order to in order to design the jfx hamburger and I want to set the background color of the lines to some interesting so I'm using a color chooser and setting is a red now I want to associate this uh, CSS file with the hamburger which can be done from the scene builder and style sheets my net means project modified life is an application source application style.class 
scene builder automatically identify the class for the hamburger and change color there are more than just these things that you can set for the hamburger like you can set the preferred width and height for the hamburger suppose I want a width of 10 pixels and I want to increase the height or set the preferred height to something like 30 pixel now let's run the program so uh, the ratio didn't work well so I have to use some other ratios I want to set the preferred width as 7 and preferred width as oh sorry preferred width as 50 and preferred height as 7 pixels so that's a problem the resolution so that's it now you can make some cool UI using hamburgers and you can associate some navigation bar with the hamburger I will tell you how to do that in the coming tutorials thank you for watching subscribe for more videos